harder to live as a Christian. It's harder to live as a Christian. You were a Muslim, right? Yes. So tell me your perspective. Why is it harder to live as a Christian? Uh, when Jesus Christ talks about that, once you, if you look at a woman with lustful eyes, mm. you commit adultery in your heart. So we have to look at every woman with respect, like she's our sister, like she's our mother, she's our auntie, like she's our daughter. So when we have that much respect in us, if we look at anyone with the lustful eyes, we commit adultery in our own heart. That's it. Firas, this is uh, Francis. Uh, How are you? Man? I'm yeah. all right. Uh, Francis, uh, Firas didn't hear you? what you just said. He just said that it's harder. He's, he was a Muslim, right? He's a Christian now. Now he's saying that it's harder to live as a Christian than it was as a Muslim. He's saying it's harder to live as a Christian than as a Muslim because you used to be a Muslim. And it's I harder to be a Christian. Yes, to live as a Christian. Give it's harder example. to live as a Christian, a, a righteous person. Jesus Christ. Now, man. Tell me, Zaya, again, isn't it? A woman with lustful eyes. You commit adultery in your heart. So every woman that is younger to you, like a daughter, or in your age, as a sister. Uh, older than you as a mother or an auntie. Makes right? sense, but we have the same so, thing in Islam too. We do commit adultery if, if you look at uh, human too. So in your ask heart. him if there you, is a... You, do you do commit a sin? No, where is it say in the Quran you commit a sin if you look at a woman with lust? That's Hadith, that's not, that's not Quran though, is it? No, he's a Quranist. Oh, he's a Quranist. Okay. So, I'm not fully Quranist, but well, uh, if you want to do a debate, with a Christian, you debate him with the Injil. Injil, you debate him with the Quran. You cannot debate a hadith with the Injil. Okay, okay thank you. you That's very good. That's hadith. a very good point. Okay. You can debate hadith with the word of David or Solomon as a prophet. The word of David and Solomon, hadith, yeah. So hadith with hadith or the word of the Lord with word of the Lord. Okay, okay, yes. That's so, how I see it. So in the Quran, does it say that you cannot I look cannot at a woman to with see it. it? But maybe it's not the same, but I'm something could sure be it similar. It. No, it doesn't say it at all. What's make you now leave completely? Uh, uh, what the, the, the worst thing you have seen before? Uh, what made me leave in two hours? What made me leave is... Two hours only. Two hours only. It took me two hours. Okay. How can How can God allow his own very own beloved prophet to marry a six-year-old how that's something i cannot resonate with i'll give you the answer i'm so sorry but the thing is i'll give you the answer but you only okay. but the only issue is people quran actually allows the surah talaq it allows for girls to be for prepubescent girls to be married off for as idda as a Period of the period of divorce is three months for the yeah. girls who have not had the menstruations yet, right? Uh, I'll so give you answer. When you finish, I'll answer. So, for me, these are the sort of factors Ooh. I cannot resonate with. So this is the most. So this is uh, the utmost thing. The rest is all watered down for me. If this is something as a morality for all humankind, an example for all mankind is doing such a thing. I'm sorry, but I can't. Be, I I cannot be in that thing. All right. Now we have a. Um, a Quran in answer from the Quran okay. and there's answers from hadith okay. yeah the Quran here answer is is different than the hadith answer I don't believe that the Prophet Muhammad he married Aisha at the age of six or age of nine okay. and the Quran confirmed it here when he said I'll give you the, the first example test the orphan until they reach the age of marriage if you find them to be mature enough hand over their property to them so first of the if you want to marry one she must be reached the age of poverty you must and also she must be mature enough so me personally I don't believe that uh, Prophet Muhammad he married Aisha at the age of six or nine okay yeah because the Quran said that unless Muhammad done something opposite the Quran then we have a different thing. and there's and also there's other verses for example and how can you take it back when you have been intimate with one another and they have received from you a solid commitment so how can you have a sort of commitment with a, a young girl? Yeah, if unless she is mature old. enough. Yeah, she must be not, mature yeah. enough hmm. to marry her. So again, I don't believe Muhammad something done something against the Quran. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Always the, 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 the answer from the Quran is different than the answer from okay. other resources. Okay. And there's other mercies. That another one, oh you believer, it's not permitted for you to inherit women against their will. For example. 
So a young girl, she must have, um, she, when she's mature enough, yeah, she can say, listen, this is what I want. So you so cannot inherit any girl against their will, which means if uh, someone have uh, his daughter and you want to uh, marry someone, if she said no, that's against the law of the Quran. Can I respond? That's uh, right. Allah, there's, there's so many verses okay. here. Okay, and you're finished, so let him respond. Do, yeah. Okay, Piraz, are you finished? Uh, uh, second. That's the first answer for the one you said, yeah. Okay, he wants to respond to that. And I have an answer for the second one you said. Okay. okay. So, Surah Talaq, so Allah allows the people to be married off who don't have, haven't had their menstruations yet, so that's what gave it That's the second question. No, no, no. That, that is another reason. Yeah, that's would, the second I question I can reply to you okay, if you want. Yeah. Now, let's go back to the story, uh, to the surah, sorry. This one is Divorce 465, I think. Are, the, are, are for those of your women who have reached menopause, if you have any doubt, their term shall be three months. This one is alright, we know what it is. Now, and also for those who have not menstruated, the one you mentioned, mm -hmm. As for those who are pregnant, yeah, so and. those who are, yeah, not and, as, in same example. The problem here is that I speak Arabic very well, I know what does it mean. I am, so the explanation they give you, or what you have, is completely different than what I have been told. I'm going to give you the right tafsir for it. So, okay, so there's different of tafsir, but you, you're, you're claiming uh, yours is the right one. So what, what I'll give you, for us, are you saying your tafsir is better than the tafsir of all the alims before you? Let me finish it and okay. then you did it. So and also for those who have not menstruated, as for those who are pregnant, their term shall be until they have delivered the baby. I'll give you the answer. So the woman who already pregnant, you can see her, yeah? The man he cannot divorce her. You understand? And also the woman who her period stopped. We don't know if she's if she's pregnant or not. Also, you're not supposed to divorce her because maybe she's pregnant. And the answer is, God what said after, he said, until she delivered the baby. So those women who are not menstruated, you cannot divorce her until she delivered the baby. What does that mean for you? Don't worry about that one. Yeah, but she until the he said the, the answer, answer until she he delivered the baby. For us, for the reason us. she's not ministered because her period for is not so. He never asked you about that, that one. That's the tafsir, my friend. For us, yeah. he never asked you about that one. That he said. No, no he asked you about straight. the one that has not menstruated. Okay, in the only in this case because he said until she delivered the baby. No, no, no. not menstruated. Okay. If we take this it. tafsir. Oh, all the tafsir of all the alims of Islam no, no, before no. him say the so, opposite. So you were telling me Muhammad Dajab is wrong, right? He because when be he wrong. mentioned... Anyone could be wrong. Okay, so everyone else Even is wrong. Could be wrong. Okay, everyone's wrong. Could be wrong. I'm not saying anyone, everyone is wrong, but it doesn't have to be the majority always right. Okay. Because also Jesus said the way to heaven is a no rule. Yeah, so sometimes a lot of people they are... They are not so, on the right way. So the thing is that this is... Yeah, but, but, uh, but our foundation is on, on Christ. Our foundation is on a purified, sinless man. We do not have a found, our foundation on, as Muslims do, on a prophet, Muhammad, who has done things that I do not want to get into, right? So I'm being respectful here. All I'm not right. using the language here. A lot of people would use, but I'm not using that. I'm not that kind of a person. Right. But for me, the issue is, I cannot understand the fact how people are, are apologizing now for, 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 for someone who is marrying a child. How are you okay with it? I'm telling you the answer, you take it from the Quran. Do not take it from a hadith. There's many hadiths are being corrupted and you know that. The Quran says something completely different. I'm giving you an answer. Go to the Quran and you see what I have said to you. But you think such a study? Okay, so you tell me. God said again in the Quran. Always the Quran have a different answer for it. There so is so nothing called 100% Hadith Sahih. Because okay. God said in the Quran, if these words are not mine, you will find mistakes. You will definitely find the mistakes. So it's okay so for... I don't believe there is 100% pure Hadith Sahih. Thank so you. it's okay for the Quran to call people like me? Yeah. Not, not just? just? Is it okay for Quran no. to call people like me? Find me the verse again. You have a you have a problem with tafsir in the Quran. Find me the verse in the Quran who said God said that you are ready. You, you Try to find it. Just try to give me the phone. Take your time. I'm, I'm I'm surprised here. I'm really surprised here. In all yeah. honesty, right, I'm gonna give you what the Quran said about you. 
if you become Christian. You are the people of the book, my friend. How can God say you are the people An of the book? An ex-Muslim who became Christian, I'm people of the book. No, you are Am become... I not the worst of the creatures, worst of the worst? Yes, this is on Surah 9, verse 6. I'm going to give yeah. you an answer. Surah 9, 9, verse 6. Bro, okay. I got it to my mind as well. Good. Well, can we go to that Surah 9, please? Uh, where's what? 98 verse 6. Let me, let me go. I've got, I've got to come up after my friend anyway. So Sahih International right. scored as the worst of the creatures. Is that wrong? First of all, read it. Slowly, read it slowly and take your time. Okay. Those who people... Wait. Those who... Indeed, these who disbelievers among the people of the scripture. Among. Does that mean both? And, and the polytheists. And the, okay. Among the people of the scripture and also among the people of Muslim. Yeah. There's so many people who polytheist. are polytheists. There's no to mention of Muslim. Yeah, but I'm telling you, they are equal. Anyone among, among the people of the scripture and among the people of Muslim are the same. It's not all of them. You don't, you don't, you don't understand Arabic, sorry. In the Kafaru Min Ahli Kitab. So it doesn't mean yeah, all of them. Ahli kitab. Well, min Min is mean some, some of them. Some of them. Some Jahannam. 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 What Jahannam? Jahannam means in, what, what? Hell, in, right? In hell, yes. Hell. Yeah. So what are we? Mushrikeen? Yeah. Mushrikeen are who? Westerners? Yeah. Right. Binari Jahannam, yeah. Yeah, Mushrikeen. The polytheists. Ahli Kitab, people of the book. Mushrikeen, Westerners, the polytheists. Why didn't you go to the Aswan? Right. So... Wait, 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 wait. Does God say in this one? So we are that we all are, the people of the scripture going to hell? I challenge you. He didn't say no. He said some of them. Those people who, fall, who are committing a sin, some of them will go to hell. To hell. Not all of them. Okay. Min ahli kitab. Some no, no, no. Okay, hold on. You hold understand? On. Take Can, it easy. Like, hold, on, hold on. Take it easy. If God said all the people of the, uh, the Christian and Jew. He does. Go to, he, to does. Hell, he, does. Yes. he does. He does. He does. He does. So he does. God first let for me, him. Let me tell you why. Let and me tell you why. He does. He does. Are, we, are, we the worst? are you okay with it calling us the worst of the creatures? Do you think this is okay? You need to go to the countries and read that. No. Listen, Piras. Who are the Mushrikeen? Christians are the Mushrikeen. That is the worst sin in Quran. Nasara, 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 Nasara. are the mushrikeen. Mushrikeen are sinners. Also, that's it. That's the biggest sin is mushrikeen. Let me answer. First of all, Jewish people they are not mushrikeen. They are mushrikeen. According to the Quran, according to the Quran, they used to think that Ezra no. was his prophet. He was, he was the son of God. No. They did they think that he was Listen, the son of God. Everyone knows. Jewish people they are not mushrikeen. Beautiful. They Jew, are Jew, Unitarians. Jew, Jew. They believe in the same God Jew, we believe. Jew, 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 Jew. Jewish people believe in the same God as you. Okay, they are Unitarian. They believe in one God and they are not Mushrikeen. According to the, okay. To the book. Okay, so, okay, okay. Torah. Torah. Let's go to Torah. So you are saying to me that they believe exactly like Muslims. This is the they're they're Unitarians, right? You said they are Unitarians. Yeah. So let's go to Unitarians. So, so let's, go, let's go to numbers. Even Christian people, they do believe uh, in one God. Yeah, but they have uh, different views. So they have a, that they're, so they're different. called Mushrikeen. Listen for us. Let me make this very clear for you. You said that Christians, some of them are called Najis. How can some of them be Najis when they're all Mushrikeen? They can, they can, they, they all fall into the this sinner criteria. No, no all Mushrikeen are sinners. I'll give you the answer. Okay. All Mushrikeen are sinners. God said in the Quran, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحِ Jehovah Witness they don't say that uh, that uh, that Jesus. Do you know when Jehovah Witness started? So they are no, Unitarian. No, no, no. Listen, Thank listen. Do you know when Jehovah Witness Unitarian started? Unitarian Christian. They don't say that God is. A, is a listen Jehovah. to me. Listen to me. Who are Jehovah Witness? When did they start? Do you know when they started? What about the Sabbath? They are. They believe in. in listen. God they started a hundred years ago. Yeah. Okay. So before that, there was Christianity. And what about the Unitarian Christianity? Well, okay. well, all of them believe okay. in the same. Okay. Can I respond to that? Yeah. Go ahead. In numbers, can you turn over so we can oh, yeah, see sure, the camera? Sorry. Yeah. Numbers, the priestly blessing, the Lord bless you and keep you. Yeah. Uh, so I'm reading from Numbers, chapter, chapter, uh, num uh, chapter number six, Numbers, verse twenty-four to twenty-seven. The Lord keep bless you and keep you. The Lord, the God the Father bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face. Hello there. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious upon you. The Lord make his face, Jesus, shine upon you. And the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. So give you peace. Peace giver is who? Holy Spirit. That's also in the methodology of Trinity, according to our scriptures. Then we also have in Matthew, the last, the last chapter, 
and in the Matthew, right? The go and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So when Trinitarians, us, when we tell the Unitarians, why do you why do you do not accept that? Why do you read this and not accept the fact that this Trinity all over the Bible, even in Genesis, right? Where the God created heaven and the earth, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. God the Father, the Spirit, Holy Spirit, and then and the, God said, the Word, the Word, the is, word and the Word Jesus, is yeah. Jesus Christ Himself, and then let so there be Trinity light. All over. And so light. your God cannot be the same because Jewish God is also the Father of the Jews. That's no. your, that's your claim. So anyway, you, you what do you mean? That's Abba. my claim. That's can in the Bible. As a Muslim, can you call Abba? Can you call Allah Abba? Can you? Allah what? Like, can you Abba. call Allah Abba? What Abba, Abba, Abba means father. Father. It's a Hebrew word for Abba. It means father. Yes. In Arabic, we say ar rab I mean, he's a, he is a father. No, no, no. ar rab Rab means father. ar rab Rububi. No, no, no. Rab doesn't mean Arabic? father. No. Yeah. Rab means father. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I know. No, from Rabi, yeah. like, like we say in Arabic, Ana Rabbul Manzil. I am the, the, the Rab of my house. So I'm the so Lord of my house. house. You're not the father of your house. My, no, no, my no. wife. Yeah, yeah, in Arabic, he says, you know, these are not like so you call him Lord. Lord. So you can call no, it, doesn't it. Oh, do you call your father, father Rab? Do you call your father, 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 if, he, if it said that, we are the then why is it saying, no, we are not the children. According to the Bible, you are quoting Bible when you say that. You are not quoting Quran. Show me in the Quran, it says we are the children of God. Of God. We are all children of God. We come, we come show from me the spirit in the of Quran. God. Firas, show me in the Quran, it says that. It doesn't. Where you get all these ideas? From the Bible. I'll give you something. All this comes from the Bible. Now you, because you think different. Rabbul Alameen. Rabbul Alameen. Rabbul Alameen. Because what what Rab in our, in English means? Rubi. Lord, Rabbi, Lord, 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 no, you can. But that doesn't mean father. 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 The Quran exclusively says. Doesn't mean father. It means God. Khuda. You want to call him father? It's fine. As long as you know that you are not the son of God, human by human, flesh by flesh, then it's fine. No, it's, it's not fine by the Quran because no, Quran says no become a Christian. It's just because God is father to no uh, one. You don't like the name father. You, you want to call him a father? What? So Bilki Sheikh, who wrote the book, I dare to call him Abba. And she was prosecuted for it. That Give me a one second, one second. Hello? Hello? Yes, you can. Okay, can you hear Okay, Quran explicitly says Allah is father to no one. If it was the case that you can call Allah your father, yes, and right. you just mentioned Bilkis, right? She wrote a book and she was persecuted for it? Yeah, I dare to call him father. I dare to call him Abba. What? And was she a Muslim woman? She, she was a Muslim who, who actually became Christian. Ah, but and they then, got persecuted for that. And if this is what I'm yeah. saying. I'm, I'm like, oh, this is the first time I'm hearing this. I mean, so all the translations are wrong. No. He's the right one. Yeah. Every other every other person who has interpreted everything is wrong. Okay. But what he's saying is that uh, the, the tafsir, oh, no, sorry, I mean the hadith. Uh, just how it was it. Two, three customers coming. What? You, customers coming. Okay, oh, fine. So what he's saying is the, the hadith, which is uh, the Sahih hadith, are wrong. In the Sahih hadith, these things are all mentioned. The age of Aisha is in uh, which hadith? Which hadith mentioned the age of Aisha? That's it. To get the right answer always, go Why to the Quran. This, this is this? the issue I had before. So. That's why I don't want to stand so close. I told you to go over there. You said stand here. Hello? Sorry, yeah. Okay. My friend, you just made up your own Quran. Don't make up your own Quran, please. None, nowhere in the Quran says that you can call God your father. Never. Does it say God is father to anyone? It says the opposite. God is father to no one. Okay, why? Why this for you is very, very important to call God the Father? 
Because you're saying it's rub. You're saying rub is the. Do, do, we can say a rub. Do, a rub from Rububia. Rububia means someone who is looking after, sponsoring, like looking after people. So we call him a rub. Can I'm I, explaining to you in Arabic. Can I, can I respond now? Yeah. Wait, just what do you call it? So, do I want a slave and a master relationship with God, or do I want a, or do I want a love, loving relationship with Father God? And son. Of course, loving relationship. With so, God. so is is Allah love, or is Allah a ruler? Of course, Allah is love. No, in the Quran, don't say those things you heard from the Bible. Say in the Quran it says Allah is love. Show me in the Quran it says Allah. Well, you say you claim it that God is is good. It's in the Bible. All right. Does that mean God is not excellent? When you say God is good. No, no, no. Listen. Does that mean God is not excellent? No, no, no. I, Excellent I have is a form of good. Good condition. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, for me, when you say God is good, no, no, it doesn't no. mean. Why are, you, why are you trying to run now? Don't God run. should be excellent. Not good. Firas, you don't do that. You don't run. Listen, let's, don't let's run. Go to now. the main point. Look, this Show is now the Quran. Thing. Tell me what the most, the, mo the thing that the most Muslims do feel bad about Islam. So I can hopefully answer it for you. He told you already. So what's more bad things about Islam? Yeah, the most make you think really bad in Islam. So I'm gonna try to answer. I'm not really a scholar, just by the way. I try my I'm best. not a scholar. Either. Can we right. move over, please? Give Can we move answer. over? Let's move over. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Oh, you gotta move closer. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what else is what else is wrong with Islam? Okay. So you tell me. Can you go to Maida, the table? Just read it, just read it. You know, it's okay. Just read it. Because you already claim that if someone leaves Islam... You claim if someone leaves Islam, he will, he should be punished. Killed. Yeah? Killed. Killed. He should be killed. So I'll Maida. give you the answer from the Quran again. And uh, which verse? 54. 54. Okay. Right. O oh, believers, whoever among you abandons their faith, Allah will replace them with others yeah. who love Him and are loved by Him. They will be they will be humble with the believers, but firm towards the disbelievers, struggling in the way of Allah, fearing no blame from anyone. This is the favor of Allah; He grants it to whoever He wills. And Allah is all bountiful, all knowing. That's it. So now, if someone leaves Islam according to the Quran, yeah. is there any punishment here on this ayah? God said, if someone leaves Islam, He promised He will bring in new people that they will love God and they will love the Messenger of God, Muhammad. He never said there will be a punishment. Again, this answer I'm telling you, it's against the the Muslim who claim that the the, the 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 man who is murtad he will he should have a punishment. That's the answer. Okay. There is no punishment in the Quran. You want to leave Islam is fine. For me, if you go and become a Christian, believe in, in God, you are still in the same world. Same world. So you tell me, why can't I go to my I am half Christian and I'm half Muslim. No, you're not. Can I, can I, I believe in both. No. Can I can I ask yeah. something? Why can't I go to any when why can't I go to Saudi Arabia now? There, Saudi Arabia uh, doesn't rep represent Islam. Okay. Why, why do you think Saudi Arabia represents Islam? Why, why can't why can't I go to Pakistan now? Uh, that's not my fault. I'm just telling you. I'm so here. Yeah, so no, no, but the thing is, but, but afraid, those I'm are Muslim countries that I cannot go to because I'll be executed just because I've left my religion. They are completely it's wrong. It's in Sharia. Completely wrong. So Sharia got wrong. As I said, the answer from the Quran is different from Sharia, different from the Hadith. I'm giving you an answer here. What did the answer again? So you're saying that and you... And he said, he said the word Murtad, the one who leave Islam. God, he said, he promised. He'll bring new people who love Islam and love Okay, what does God want to do with the people who leave Islam? What does God That's do? the answer. What does he do? It, it, the answer is he will bring other people. Yes. But what will he do with them? Will he reward them or will he give them a punishment? It depends. If you become an atheist, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, then maybe you are on, a, on, on the wrong road. Okay. What if you become if a you Christian? Become a, if a you Christian. become a Christian, yeah, yeah, you are still on the same road. You are, you are still called a believer. You still call the people of the book. But then and you know is, how is I he not a mushrik? It. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Right. no, no let me. No, let me. No. Let me respond to this whole thing. So in all honesty, what you said to me, what you genuinely said to me, is that you, you, in your, in your opinion, you believe oh, that opinion, I, Quran opinion. okay, Carry Quranic on. opinion and your opinion, I should not be executed. I, I'm, no. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Yeah. I admire, I admire that sort of cause. If that is the case, that is brilliant. That is what we want—a reformation. But on the other hand, you tell me, how can you prove to me? That that Quran is uh, that we are El Kitab. So how are we people of the book? But Quran itself says we are, that's not, it's not a book; it's the word of Allah. 
Wait, say again the question. So we are the people of the book. Jews and Christians are of people, of the, people book, of the book. But yes. it's Quran a book. Quran is a part of the book. It's not the book. As in, it's an Arabic problem you have. Quran is a part of the book. It's not the whole book. Do you understand? It's a big mistake. It's a big mistake. Of the book. Quran is the last part of the book. <laughs> okay, so Quran is... No, the, listen Quran to the Quran is not the book. Book is not Hold the on. Quran. Quran is part of the book. The Be book us. is Torah, Injil, Quran. Become fully book in full detail. You forgot the book. What? You forgot the book. Zabur, yeah. Zabur, Zabur. Uh, Zabur, it could be part of the book. Okay. They be. don't know. Okay. Then they call them. So, so the book is contained all of them. Ibrahim It cannot be a book. No, no, no. Only His question is: Is Quran a book or is it a word of Allah? No, Quran is a part of the book. Now we don't know how how big is this book, but the book is contained. Uh, Judah, all the prophet, all the way from Ibrahim. Until uh, the last one. Can I, can I tell you something? Yeah. You say that in Pakistan, you may ask for saying that. Yeah. All right. Tell him, tell him, I challenge you, find me a verse in the Quran where it said that if I leave Islam, you should be a suicide. Show it to me in the Quran. Yeah, but I can't say that, but in Pakistan, they Because they're going to go to Adi. Yeah. Oh, it says in the Quran, it says wherever you find them, kill them. Wait, wait, no, wait. It says kill the I'll Jews tell you, and the Christians. Your answer is with me. God said in the Quran, in 17 chapter, only follow what has revealed to Muhammad. Only follow so what don't has follow revealed hadith. to Muhammad. If you only, he, doesn't, he doesn't say for don't okay. follow hadith. Okay. Hadith is the word of a prophet. It's not the word of the Lord. So can, I ask you, can I ask you something? Just two questions basically. So, Quran doesn't tell you about Shahada. And Quran does not tell you about how to pray and wudu. So, well, we take it from the Prophet Muhammad. So that's how you we take it tarado, uh, tawado, tawado, sorry, tawado, which means they saw how Muhammad was praying, they copied it all the way from now. And if you okay. go on Google, wait, go on YouTube, check how the Jewish people pray. They pray the same way as us. They how did they say the Shahada at the time of Muhammad? How did they say the Shahada? At the time of Muhammad, when Umar, Shahada. when Ali became Muslim, yeah. how did they say the Shahada? What did they say? In that time, you mean? Yes. How they say yeah, yeah, yeah. Shahada is two part. It's not one part. Listen to me exactly. The Shahada said, I witness there is only one God. Yeah? And Muhammad is his No, God. that's the second one. And Jesus Christ is the word of God. You believe in God and you are a Christian. I witness there is only one God and Musa is the prophet of God. You are a Jew. in God and you are a Jew. I believe in there is only one God and Muhammad is a Muslim of God. You believe in one God and you're a follower of the Muslim. Can I shake That's your hands? Can I shake your hands? You just left Islam. Congratulations. <laughs> you just left Islam. <laughs> no, they not leave Islam, my friend. Because Islam is the Quran, is the book, is the Quran. Yeah. Do you? The Shahada is two and they are separate. I'm so, I'm, I'm so sorry, but you just, you just called. Islam. No one can uh, take Islam away from you unless you come out of the Quran. If How did you he come out Quran, of Islam? What did he say? The Quran, okay, let's Islam. listen to his story. What, what, why do you say that he's come out of Islam? He just called, uh, he just called Jesus the Word of God. He's the Word of God, of course. The Word became flesh. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Come, come, come here, come here, come here, my friend. Yeah. I'll explain to you Jesus. I know Jesus very well in the Quran. I will make you now cry a little bit. Listen. Okay. According to the Quran, Jesus is the mess is the prophet of God is mentioned only one time. Wait, wait. It's mentioned one time only. In the Quran, Jesus is um, uh, sorry, Jesus is a prophet of God, is mentioned in the Quran one time. Call him Isa. Yeah. He's not Jesus. Okay, I'll explain don't to you this. Worry. Now Jesus is mentioned in the Quran, messenger of God, three times. So his position is stronger. Jesus also mentioned as the word of the Lord. Jesus mentioned that he is a spirit from God. Jesus mentioned that he is a spirit from him and he is the word of truth. God is the truth, that's what the Quran said. And also Jesus is the word of truth. The higher position for Jesus above the messenger that he is the word of the Lord. So Jesus, according to God, he got five positions. Most he got two positions, a prophet and a messenger. Do you understand? But you don't know the Quran. Is this Muslim? Yes. Murtad, Murtad, yeah. I'm a Murtad now.
I am absolutely. Do you used to pray? Sorry? Do you used to pray five times? Uh, no, I was not that devout, thankfully. So you wanna pray? No, I didn't pray, but not as devout as a lot of other people. Were you Sunni or Shi? Sunni. From Pakistan? Yeah, from Pakistan. I know you don't say Pa, so it's Pakistan. Pakistan, Pakistan. Okay, I believe. Yeah. What's, what's the, sorry, there are different variations of the shahud. What is the tashahud? Can you tell me the tashahud, please? Give it the shahud. Okay, according to the Quran, Jesus' position is very, very high. You understand? No, very as high, high as God. Because because he's God. God. Now, the problem here we have in the Quran, where Jesus is the son of God or not. The Quran said, if Jesus is the son of God, when he said the word son, yeah, this is my son, he got the same flesh like me, yeah? No, no, so no, just no. The Quran say, let do not let, say, when you say you the have word, your argument, it's fine. Yeah, okay. When we say the word son, yeah. it only works on human and it only works on, on animal. This is the son of the donkey. This is the son of the horse. This is the son of you. Can you say this tree has got a small tree? This is the son of the tree. I've, we say wait now. If God is made from spirit, spirit. Can you say Jesus is a spirit? Is the son of the spirit? Can you give me the right word when you say God? Can you let me say? And this is the son of the. I've already answered in this. So God, he fixed for him as a spirit from him or the one or the word of the Lord. Okay, listen now. Okay, listen. The Quran listen. argument is only do not say he's my son because God doesn't have a flesh. Okay, listen. Now finish. Can you convince me if, if when you say Jesus is the son of God? Yeah. Okay. God, God must have a flesh like Jesus. But you understand my No, point? no. Okay, listen. Oh, no, but, let me answer. The last thing and then we can make the answer. But God, Quran confirmed that Jesus is the Holy Son. Okay, Are you finished? He's the Holy Son. He is the word of the Lord. If God, as you, the Christian, claiming that is a spirit, can you give me the answer now? When the spirit have a have a small spirit as Jesus, can you say this spirit is the son of a big spirit? We cannot okay. say this word. You cannot. We can only use it on animal on, on no, the human. No, you cannot. Uh, can I? Can I just answer? I, I will this is something. the only problem. The Quran. Firas, now you got to give me a chance. Okay. Yeah. I gave you a long time. So sure. please give me a chance. Can I say you are the son of Syria? You are from Syria, right? Yeah. If I say he's the son of Syria, yes. Can I now, say that? Can Syria have a son? Yes. Or if I say you are the son of lion, yeah. You are very brave. You are son of lion. Yeah. That means that you are the son of a lion. Or you son of your dad? So it depends that, on what you think. Okay. So, so he is not God then. Sorry? He is not God then. What do you mean he's not God? Because he is not Syrian. He is Syrian. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. No, no. Wait a minute. Let Doesn't me understand the point. No, no, he is Syrian. No, no, no. Okay, just so, do not say God all is that he is my son because I don't have a flesh. No, no. That's Listen, I just gave you the answer. I don't you didn't have a hear flesh. what I said. Your answer you didn't hear what I said. You, if I say you, you are the son the of son Syria, of, you yeah. don't have any confusion. Oh, how can I be son of Syria? If Syria you cannot be okay. having a son. In, if, it can. if you say in this way, then maybe. Speak in English so we can understand too. Yeah. I'll be nice. I'm free to speak any language. Like. Yeah, but still, uh, Arabization is what, what killed everyone. I'm talking, Thank so you very what, much. What, what, what the Arabization is what killed cultures, basically. Yeah. Even if I, okay, yeah, Arabization, that's what I call it. Do you right. speak Hindi? No, Urdu. Urdu. Okay, okay. Can, yeah. in, 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 in Arabic or in our religion, Islam, yeah. can we say we are the son of God? But we know that we are not son of God. Can we say we are we the son of God? We don't use it because... But can, is it okay to say we are the son of God? There is a hadith, you say, Anfa ahabbu nasi ila Allah anfa'ahum li ayali or something like that. Is that a sahih hadith? Yeah, so, so we can which, say... Which, which hadith? Can you give me the wrong one? No, which hadith right. is that? But we need to know what God made from. Right. Is God made from a spirit? All right, so you tell me. You tell me one thing now. I'm going to just ask you this personally in your opinion. So when Quran says that, uh, that Jesus was taken up and instead there was another man given, so he deceived everyone around. Quran doesn't say that. Look at this man. I'm, Quran I'm asking him, can I, I speak to him? Quran doesn't say can that. Can I speak to him? Well, he was uh, interfering as well. Why do you have no problem with that? Because you all are doing this, but you know, we are having a discussion. He was interfering. Can I speak to him? Of course. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a manners. Learn some manners. Thank you very much. Yeah? Learn some manners. There's some decency. Yeah? I know Arabs don't have manners, but... You I'm not Arab, Ahmar. I'm not Arab. I'm not Arab. I don't know what you are. I'm not Arab. No, what are you? Oh, I'm not Arab. What are you? I'm not Arab. Okay, good. So you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, good. Okay. Good. 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 Good
Okay, let's go somewhere else. Are you gonna are you here to harass my friend? That's what he said. Are you here to harass my friend? He was talking. He's talking to us. No, he was talking to him and you okay. he doesn't time. want we don't need your input right now. We're just I'm discussing with him. him. My brother. It's Who okay. Are are you, do you want him here to yes, discuss with him? We have we have what was I'm just gonna that's uh, that's that's what one. I call yeah, Arabization. Yeah, yeah. Right. Arabization, where people, uh, these people come to Pakistan to bring the religion. They came to Iran, they came to Egypt, and look how cultures are killed. Look how people are dying just because of one religion, one culture. Arabization, that's what I call it. Which is why I do not hate Arabization, I do not hate Arabs. But I do hate what they brought to us, and why do we need to pray to Allah in Arabic only? That's my because question. Because Allah but cannot understand any other, any other language. language. Exactly, like Ahmed X Muslim says, Allah only knows one language, brother. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I retained him. No, I'm just okay. explaining to him. We, we having a nice conversation. We need to make it easy. Thank you. Everyone so has the right to have. Okay. Any, let's you continue. Let's, let's continue. Let's yeah. Can I? Can I? Can I converse yeah. with you now? So, so when uh, when Jesus with Isa was taken up yep. to the heaven by God, right yep. in Quran. Yep. So, people, so all the apostles, all the twelve apostles, they were all deceived, right? So they died. So they died in the cause by all the gospels. Right. Uh, yeah. All the gospels, they died for one reason. So they died in the deception. So Allah deceived them, right? Of course. No. Deceive them with what? Because it made to appear to them. So that God he was put someone crucified. else on the cross. Yes. That's what you believe. Yeah. Again, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's, okay. What do you mean, but then God ask him person. what is right. Ask, what is right? You see, no, that is wrong. So, so Quran says. This is having, hadith, my friend, not Quran. No, no, this is hadith. What does the Quran say? Hadith. They are. They are. They. They way a bit confused what what's happened exactly with Jesus. So they say maybe possibility that that uh, some of the disciples of, of, of Jesus was on a cross instead of a cross. I don't believe that. No, and God will that. never okay, do something okay. like that. This what is anyway what you claim okay. is from Hadith, Firas, not from the Quran Firas, again. You Firas, what do you say? From okay. your Quran, According what does to it the say? Quran, what God said, they did, with the meaning of it, they did not succeed in killing him. They did not succeed no, no, in no. crucifying don't him. Don't give me the meaning it's of it. It only appeared to them. Please. Which means Jesus was there. They tortured him. But they did not succeed in killing him. They did not succeed. It's only a to them. Was he on the cross? Only the, the body of Jesus uh, was, was he tortured. on the cross? Was he on the cross? The God, the Quran did not say that he was on the cross, but he was there. He was on the cross. He, he was there. I don't know if he was on the cross or on a stake. I cannot say. Okay, but was he put up there or not? He was. He said no. You said yes. All right. Mama they did not. They did not succeed in killing him. It's only appeared to them. Do you believe? Don't speak English. Don't speak in other language. The Quran manner. Speak English. Practice what you preach. So you just said, Piras, Piras, your friend is saying he was on the cross. You are saying he wasn't on the cross. What's your name? What's your name? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, actually, Abdullah, my name is Abdullah. I can tell. Oh, yeah. Abdul, 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 Abdul right. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. One, one of those. Yeah, yeah, one of, one one of those. those. Yeah. And what's your name? Batel. Hmm? Batel. None of your uh, business. Batel, no, it's Batel. Of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 I don't have a lighter. A lighter? No, a lighter. I don't have. Ah, I will have lighter. Okay. So, my friend, you again. Let's read the words. Let's read the words. Such a second, brother. When we have a civil conversation, if this is this is how the people are gonna come across and treat, I think I think maybe maybe you need to clarify with this person. If you can't speak with respect, then I think he should walk away. I have not even called out anything or any bad names like a lot of other people would do, but I've been civil with you, I've been respectful with you, and this person is coming and heating it all up. Where have do I you do you think? Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want to even look at this person because when someone disrespectful, there's no chance to even converse. So do you want to converse respectfully or shall I or shall I walk away? Fine, prove it. Where I have been. You can speak when you finish. I will come. Exactly. Where was I disrespectful? Can you prove it? 
Okay. No, let, let's disrespect? just uh, forget about him. Just don't talk to him. No, no, All right. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna. We gonna walk away now. It's okay. You Thank can you. walk away. Of course. All right. No, let's just go over there. Okay. Yeah, let's just walk over here. This guy is uh, just here to harass us. He's a friend of Piras, so I don't say anything to him because I'm friends with Piras. But he's very disrespectful. I don't know why Piras uh, let him come to us and do that. Uh, so. Okay, let's go back Okay, uh, you're all right. Oh, the, sun, the sun here is facing. The sun here is better. It's, it's better? Sun. Okay, sun. Let's, uh, let's go back. Okay, my friend. You took out the words. Okay. You took out the words. Listen, this is for me question that you have. I had it and it was in my mind. That's why I become half Christian, half Muslim. I explain to you what does it mean, yeah? Now, God said in the Quran, وَقَوْلُهُمْ in the Quran, for they saying, because when they put Jesus on the cross, okay, the Jewish people, they said, wow, we have killed him. God, first of all, He's responding to what they're saying. He's not telling us to the human what's happening. He's just responding to them. He's telling him, you did not succeed in killing him. You did not succeed in crucifying him. It's only appeared to them, which means Jesus was on a cross. His body tortures, but, but they did not kill him and finish him completely. Because the, the, the soul of Jesus, the spirit of Jesus is stronger than the death. And we know that. Do you believe? The spirit of Jesus inside him died when he was on the cross. When he, when he was no man's out. spirit dies when he dies. Nobody. If you die, well, your spirit. So that means Jesus is the same like a human being. Jesus is not the same like a human being. No. What Jesus is above uh, all the messengers and he's the world from the law. That's what the God says. No, no, no. Now listen to the answer. Listen. Stop. 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 Listen. You go on and on. You gotta give us a chance to respond. When you make some point, okay, let you me gotta finish stop. that point. No, no, you, you gotta. You, no, 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 no. Stop here. Let me explain to you. You said something about Jesus Spirit is the same Spirit as any other human, right? Okay, okay. So tell me, can because you tell the difference between die. Jesus and a human being? I will yeah. tell you. That's exactly what I was about to do. Okay. Jesus said to them, "Put this uh, temple down. I will raise it up in three days." Did yeah. he not say that? Yeah. Okay. Did he raise it up in three days? Yes. Okay. You, you cannot say that because you're Muslim. But we say that. Yeah. And that is the reason why Jesus is not like anybody else. Because nobody else. Can you say to somebody, oh, kill me and I'm going to come back in three days. Can you do that? Can any human in history ever did that? No. Including Muhammad, including Musa, including Daud, whoever. Nobody said Put me down, kill me, I will come back in three so days. So what's the difference between Jesus and normal human body? That is the difference. What's the difference? He come back in three days. So basically you're telling me, that, yeah, but what's the difference in uh, the body of Jesus and Nothing. the body of a human being? Nothing. No, that's wrong. Jesus is, let's listen to me. Right? Jesus, according to the Quran, when you finish, <coughs> I'm listening to you. I'm trying to explain to you what Jesus, yeah? Uh, Musa and the Prophet Muhammad, there has been given a book, which is the word of the Lord. Yeah? Now, Jesus, God did not give him a book. He put his word in Jesus. So the Injil is in him. Okay, if I if I take this... You know with me, yeah? No, no, uh, he's listening. The Injil is in Jesus. So he is a living word in the but flesh. Also... That's the difference between Jesus and the rest of the book. Do you understand? So Musa has been given a book. This is the word of the Lord we have. Where now, when you have the word of the Lord in a, in, in a living, in a flesh, this is what Jesus. So that's why he's from the day he's born, he was already a messenger. From the day he was born, he was already a pure son. What is the Holy Spirit? Also the Quran, so he said, and we have given him the Holy Spirit. We supported him with the Holy Spirit. And only Christian they can use the Holy Spirit. Okay. How many, so in Quran, how many wives do you think Muhammad had? One. Uh, Muhammad. Yes. Muhammad, he had uh, maybe I think 10, 11. 11 wives. Or 13. So in the Bible, Jesus says that you shall not commit adultery. In um, Matthew, for Matthew uh, chapter 5, uh, right? Just a second. So Matthew chapter 5, Jesus says, verse 27 uh, to 28. 
you have heard that it was said you shall not commit adultery but i tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart so prophet comes six centuries later and marries 10 11 or 12 or as you know how many wives right so so when when christianity tells us when jesus tells us do not divorce the wife unless she's committed adultery so he, what's that got to do with adultery with married in with so, 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 many you're, so you're telling me so you're telling me why Sorry, there's a camera why, why is it okay for a man to marry 11 wives while jesus six centuries ago or seven centuries before has said to you that please one wife no not committing do not commit adultery but but he had but, but he no, no, wait, but there is no adultery in islam anyway so when you commit adultery of course we don't commit adultery what do you mean by we committing adultery did muhammad not have right hand possessions no, I he has a, a different definition. Different okay. He has his own what tafsir. What do you mean right hand position? Yeah. Do you believe that we, the Prophet Muhammad, he had uh, s slaves? Sex slaves. Sex slaves. That's what you're claiming, yeah? Again, it's a wrong tafsir in the Quran. I'll tell you, if Muhammad had uh, sex slaves with him, I will leave Islam now. <laughs> it's a wrong, my friend. It's not from the Quran. So what is the right hand possession? Tell me what is right hand possession. In Arabic, mulk you mean you possess, you gain some right over woman righteously by contract, which means you married with her. I'll explain to you one surah by surah because you confuse. But there's two kind of marriage. Do you know how many kind of marriage? No, don't confuse him one by one because so many questions he got. I need to answer him one by one. What's He's saying there's two kind of marriage contract in Islam. One is the permanent kind, and one is another one. Which no, is that with no. the right hand possession, no. you have a different agreement. No, no, no. He got something, many things wrong, my friend. Okay. You explain it. You explain it. You have so many questions, same like I can answer because I have the same situation. I had a time and I was about to leave in Islam. Every time I see a problem, I get angry. Then when I go back to the Holy Quran, the problem is not in the Quran. The problem is with many hadiths that have been attributed to the Prophet Muhammad and a wrong tafsir. But because I speak Arabic, I was able to. So understand. did all the tafsir writers. All if they, if, 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 are they, they holy people? Are they holy people? Yes. Are they holy people? Yes. Anyone mention of them in the Quran? No. Thank you very much. Are you mentioned in the Quran? No, but I'm. Then you are holy. Okay. How do you have that seed? No, no. You believe you're on the seed. You make up your own religion. All, from the age 25 until the age of 40, well, who he was he married with? Khadija. Khadija. How old is she? Over him. 15 huh? years. If he really wanted to be with the, with the kids, why would he be with an old woman? Because he was poor. Than him, because he was poor. He, was he had poor. no money. She was rich. She was rich. Yeah, so I'm 25. I've been married with a 40 years old. Because she was rich. Okay, whatever it is. Now, and he didn't explain, marry any other woman when he was married to her. Muhammad. Because she was rich. If he did that, she would leave him. Right. He would lose the money. Listen, That's Muhammad, why he didn't marry anybody else. His yoke life with an old lady. That's the first thing. Second thing. Why now, did he tell this guy who married an old Quran woman said if you to want him. to marry another one? God in the Quran said marry only one. Huh? Now if you want to marry another, the second, the third, the fourth one, there is a, uh, there is a... If you can, if you can uh, a term uh, do condition. justice. Yeah, if now you do if you want to marry the second one, yeah. she must have lost her husband. Listen to uh. me first. She must have children under the age of 18. Uh. Then you can marry her so you can look after her children and treat her children equally with your children yeah. and you don't have to marry her and have sex with her god said just make a contract with her so you can just be with her make a contract and treat her is that the right hand the position equally no this is something different okay because there is one ayah in the quran god said if you want to uh the the, the ayah is talking about the the, the the children that who has no children who have no father or mother the whole ayah is talking about the what is it what they call him orphan 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 not talking about the orphan okay please he said now if you if you see a, a woman who have no father or no husband and she's in really bad situation and got many children under the age of 18 make a contract with them so you don't have to sleep with them make a contract and look after the children adopt them okay did muhammad do that the rest of his wife all of them they were they were uh, widows they were uh, some of them they have the, wow, the old women what about yeah. the, the sophia <laughs> was she a widow she became widow right no no day. no first he goes and makes a woman widow yeah. and then oh you are a widow oh i'm okay my job is to marry widows i just killed your husband your king widow solomon, how many wife you married do you follow king solomon is that our moral example no 
He's a sinner. He walked away from Jew. Jew. He's the one who was the one that, because of the women, they, they took him away from God. He started worshiping false gods. He's an no, example. Mean, was, he, he, was he was he a moral example for no, our? Of course not. He's a, yeah, yeah. all the stories are there to give you what happens yeah, if you do these these, these things. Yeah. It's an insight. If you follow you these things, exactly. this is what happens. This is a lesson in right. the Bible. You, uh, can I can I ask you another thing? Just one last thing now. Right. So you tell me, is it okay for a prophet, a man of God, that you claim, that you you follow? Is it okay for him to marry his own adopted son's wife, oh. lust after her, yeah, and the Quran she... allows it? How is that okay? Spiras, please answer that. How is that okay? Zaid, what, what did he do no, wrong? No, but he said that you, the second woman you marry is supposed to be divorcee, has children. So his son's brother, wife was brother. a divorcee. He, his son, brother, divorced her. Brother, the, the, the question is very simple. The question is very simple. Is it okay? Is it okay for uh, for a man to marry his adopted son's wife? Yeah. Do you think it's okay? <laughs> Would you do that? Now the idea of adopted adoption in in Christianity, they can adopt a child, uh, yeah, uh -huh. and they will tell him, "I am your father." Huh. In Christian religion, Sharia, the Sharia, the law of prison is okay. In our law, you can adopt a child, but you cannot say, "I'm your father." That's the only difference. I want to tell you, I am not your father. Your father that is someone but else. That's the difference between Christianity and Islam. And now, when this child grow, yeah, in, in our culture, when this child grow, when you tell to him, "I'm not your father," therefore the child will understand that he cannot uh, look at his uh, sister, which is my was my daughter, yeah, in a different way. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Because when he grow, he should see her as his sister. Okay, so he should see as a sister, but you are not accepting him as your son. Okay. So he has rules, but you don't. Okay. Who he has rules? You just said to me that he has to respect everyone around him, <laughs> but you don't have to respect that boy. That's what came. That's what you said. Because that not boy is not your son. You're telling him you're not my son. But you have to treat all my my daughters and everybody the difference as your is, sister. Again, the difference is very small. I think. Is the difference? You Very just tell small. him, okay. You look after the boy, you adopt him, and you, but you just tell him, "I'm not your father. I'm gonna look after you until the day you become." Okay, can you adopt him? In, in Islam, is the adoption allowed? In, in their Islam. religion, in their in their Sharia, they will tell him, "I am your." We father. don't have Sharia. Which one do you think we is don't right? Have sharia. Wait, wait. Which, which one do you think is right? God, you know Why Jesus said on the cross, him, your, "Did your mother I take her home, and she, he's your son to his disciple John, right? To Mary and John, right?" From the cross, which Jesus one, said one, that. Which one is right? You know my our culture. You know our culture. Why would culture. you lie the child to them? I'm your father. He's not. You're not your father. When they, when he, but in Islam there is no adoption. No, you tell him I'm not. Before there was. Okay. Firas, you gotta stop. Firas, 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 Firas. We are. Let me somebody else like your family. Firas. That's the difference. Can you can you let us talk? 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 Please. Okay. Thank you. Now, in Islam there was. Muhammad adopted uh, what's his name Bilal, right? Zaid. 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 Muhammad adopted Zaid, and Zaid, it was a legal adoption, right? But afterwards, after he said, Allah has told me there should be no more adoption in Islam. After he what? He let him go and said, "You're not my son anymore," right? So he broke Until the covenant. Until he the age of uh, he grown boy, he okay, doesn't fine. have to be. Then boy. Is grown boy. No, no, no. Okay, my, if you're, my, if you're grown boy, that means you don't need your father anymore. My question to you, if you are over 20 now, you fine. My question to you is, is it okay for him, for Muhammad to marry his adopted son's wife? And do, you, that, do you think that's okay? Adopted son? Why? Why? To be honest, I haven't done proper research on it. I'm not sure. What was his name? I don't remember her name, uh, but, but, but uh, <coughs> sadly, it's, it's written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just sad. It's just sad. But it's good to see that you don't follow the whole thing. No, but he just makes up his own stuff. Every Muslim makes up his own but stuff. It's sad, <laughs> but it's sad yeah. to see that how you're okay with all of this and say... No, because he's justifying it himself. I will give you the answer for it, but I haven't, I, I haven't done proper research on this one. I cannot give you the answer now, sorry. Okay. But things that I've done research, I can answer it. Give me another question because... No, uh, I think... Okay, leave the difference between alone. Christianity and Islam is we believe that Jesus is the word of the Lord. In Christianity, they believe that God is a spirit. Is Quran the word of the Lord? Wait, no, no. Is Quran the word of the Lord? Quran is word of Allah, apparently. Is it? 
Allah and then Quran, Allah, the Quran is and is the Torah word of the Lord? No. It's not the word of God. No, it's the inspired word, word of God. Yeah. Inspired. So, so, so in Torah, Torah there is no word of God. As the author. Okay. Of course there is. If the, wait a minute. No, we Did we fire, say fire. no no no? There's a difference, right? Quran is the verbatim word of God, yeah. meaning everything in Quran is the word of God. Yeah. In Bible it's the inspiration of God that they're writing. It's if Paul is writing something and he says, I was there and I saw this and this, it's not God speaking. In the Bible, God as the author and Jesus as the author, yeah, is in the, in the Bible, yeah? Jesus now, the no, he's not Bible. the author. Jesus is not the author. He's not the author. No, no, but in, in the Bible, he, the in the New Testament, the red letters, the New Testament, the red letters yeah. Jesus as the author, he's that, the one. That's the word. That's the yeah. word. That's yeah. the word that, that was written by the, by the apostles. By the apostles. They were written by the apostles. Yeah. It's now, not Jesus wrote by himself. It's okay. the apostles. Okay. Do you know what the Injil in Arabic, in the Quran, is Jesus' own word. When Jesus talk, this is Injil. This is according to the Quran. Jesus' no, no, word no. is a holy word. No, this from is your the interpretation. No, this is according to the Quran, my friend. Be believe me. Jesus never been given a book. Jesus, Gibraltar never come to him. Jesus, Injil is in him, is in his body. You okay. understand? That's the now, in Jesus, but the Muslims, they don't understand. They think they believe that Jesus has been given a book the same like Musa and Muhammad. No. Jesus is a holy son. His word is the Injil. Okay. You understand? Yeah, we understand that. But the thing is this. The the, the Jesus when he spoke, he spoke in Jeel, holy words right away. That's okay. why he's sinless. He never made mistake. His yeah. word is in is the whole is. But who wrote down this word? The apostle. Whoever wrote write? down, I don't know. What I'm saying is, hey, go 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 go. Hey, hey, bring the camera. Bring the camera. Bring the camera. Bring the camera, bro. Next time, just bring. They're afraid of the camera. It's okay now. He's, he's handled it. The guys handled it. Okay. So he's a holy person. He should be no, 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 no. Tell me what he said. Tell me what things he said. I'll respond. I'll give you an answer for it. No, uh, it's, not, it's not what he said. He made me leave us out. He's a rude idiot. No, no, no. I know. I don't 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 know. What he's claiming. Well, the issue is. He's just insults. Half of his talk is insults. Why are they fighting this? Because of Muslims are always fighting. You know, jihadis. That's why he's a jihadi right there. Did you go to jihad in Palestine? You said you're going to go to jihad. Now here's your chance. You said, before you said, nobody's going to jihad. Now it's time you, for you to go to jihad. Don't talk about Abraham's Jesus. Okay. You tell me. You want to give me the microphone? That's, that's the microphone. That's what it is. Okay, that's fine. That's Brother, you tell me one thing. Jesus is the main position in the Quran. We are, when Jesus comes back, we will be abide by him. Amen. 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 But brother, you tell me. How, please, please, please think for a second. How are you okay with someone? Bible tells you not to steal. Bible tells you, right? Yeah. Muhammad stole, did not he? Did he not? Muhammad stole. Yeah, did he not do so? So Muhammad something done against the Quran. So how can be uh, the messenger of the Quran if he does something against it? You're not making sense. He only believes show you me, if you say show it in the Quran. You cannot say anything. And if we steal, we don't. The Quran. Listen, listen. If we steal, God never said cut his hand. Do you know that? That's wrong again, Tafsir. Do you believe that if someone said you go cut his hand? What that kind was of the tradition in Arabia before oh, Islam. Religion. It it's was a law over there, there anyways. It was a law of he the said, land. He said, cut okay. your hand, cut him away from society. Okay. Never God said, cut okay. his hand. Okay, okay, fine. So in the Quran, yeah. in the Quran, you tell me. I, I, I honestly, I am shocked with your reasonings. Because I'm a human like you. If things doesn't make sense, I will refuse it. Shall I tell you about Mulk al Yameen? Because this is the most uh, famous uh, verse about Sayyidina. Yes. What does it say? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to uh, this is not my question. Quran, basically. I never heard it. 
You never heard it. Which uh, was it a surah or was it? Now, shall I shall explain to you. This is very beautiful. This is very important to understand what Jesus according uh, in, in the Quran. Sorry, I don't know. Now, they have committed sin. Those people who said that Jesus. Oh, this one. Can you show me the ayah in the Quran where God said, um, and the Rabbi, apart yeah. from God and the Messiah? Look at this. This is so beautiful what God saying and explain about Jesus in the Quran. Please explain me this. How, how is it okay? Show me the one before. One before. Yeah. Remember. <coughs> You see him just saying, you have sex with the children with the girl. Do you think Muhammad is going to do something like this? So, That's so wrong with him. Of course, Muhammad did not marry Aisha in the sixth century. It's against the Quran. And the problem, the problem is that the Muslim, they say, yes, he was, because there is a hadith. You tell me, okay. Why? Right? You tell me. Why me that one? How is it okay? Right. How is it okay? Why well, do you don't believe? Oh. Why who don't believe in Allah and the last day? Uh, yeah. Do you believe in Allah? No. Okay. Do you believe in God? I believe God of, yes. God of the Bible. God of the Bible. Yes. Of the Bible, yes. Right. And, do you believe, and do you believe in the last day? I believe in the last okay. day. The judgment day. And now, no comply with that Allah and His message. Okay. They don't. God what has forbidden. So are you as a Christian? If God told you uh, forbidden for you to do such a thing. Yeah? And you done something against it. That's what God said. Why those people who, who do corruption, you don't believe in me, you don't believe in the last day. So I don't believe in Allah, so you should fight me, right? Now this is the confusion, I can explain to you. I can okay, tell you but the thing is it's different world. Now. Okay, you say we, we claim it that you, Allah is the son of the Lord. You say in, in this one here in the Torah, in the Torah, right? In the in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, right? In the Pentateuch, which is the old, which is Torah, right? So, you tell me, why is there no mention of word Allah? Why is there, why is there no mention of Allah? Allah. There's mention yeah. of. So, so bring it in English. I'll explain to you. It's right here. It's in English right when here. When Jesus, my friend, again, it's a problem with Arabic language. With the Arabic language. Arabic language and Jewish language both are Semitic language. Ibrahim had two sons, Ishmael and, and Isaac. 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 Ismail represents the great nation of Islam, which is by the Prophet Muhammad, and Isaac ending with the word of the Lord Jesus, which claimed to be the people of the covenant, people of the book. Jesus is brother, the covenant. Brother. Or Muhammad is only represented. Brother, the great nation I really Israel. need to pray for you. You are looking at scripture very in in a beautiful way i understand your point it's, it's the same thing i'm telling you from the corner i'm not telling you from the corner it's what chat you know go up the ladder you know oh, some guy see. yeah did you guys have it on camera yeah on yeah, camera. yeah but like it's very christian protector, protector innit? Yeah. Yeah. i'm yeah. saying that just in case but just i know man protector, yeah. you, might, you, might come, you might need to back it you know yeah. right i left this now my my reasoning you is, have lots of questions i know i have lots of questions i i need to Christ. if if people believe if, okay, I'll have an emotional argument with you because I know I understand that your your version of the Quran different. is very different, it's very peaceful, and I, I admire that. Trust me, I admire that about you. If it's not the truth, I will leave Islam like you. Why would I be in a religion such so, a. So, because he makes up his own Islam. Islam. That's no, why my friend, what do you mean, Islam? Islam? The word, wait, wait. When Jesus was on the cross, what did he say? What did he say? Father, yeah. forgive them for they know in not English, what they say do. in English. I mean, saying, well, oh, yeah. Ali Ali Lama Shabaktani? Ilahi Ilahi. Ilahi. Go on Google. Okay. Ilah means God. Ilah means God. Ilah does not mean Allah. Okay. It does there's does no Allah. there's no God yeah. by Allah. Allah. There's no yeah. illa la illa la. Yeah. So there's no now, God. Now if you go on Google, go on Google my friend. Oh. And put alphabet when you go home. Jewish alphabet, Hebrew alphabet letter, and Alef, Arabic Alef, alphabet. Yeah. Alif, I have you and Alif. In Arabic, I know Alif, I know how to read okay. Arabic. No, no, you have the same different. alphabet in Arabic. Alpha A in Arabic, in the Hebrew language, become E. It's very important. A become E. 
S in Arabic become Sheen. Aisa Yeshua. Allah Ilah. Ilah and Allah is the same. No, it's not the same. Ilahi. No. When he said he, when he was a girl, he said Ilahi, Ilahi. A become e, Elohim. When you said when you add E M to Allah, it become it become more blessed. Allah Ilahi is the same. Elohim means means plural. Plural of plural. God. Yes. Elohim means Elohim, God. Elohim means God. Allah, Allah is the same. No, no, no. It's not the same. Oh, Hello. Right. Why, why don't you ask not the Christian? Go and ask the Jewish people. Does the 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 Muslim? who follow of Ismail are following the same God, they will tell you yes. Who is he to tell you no in the middle Christian? We do believe this Jewish, they do confess this, we say yes, the follow no, no, of Ismail, no, 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 no. they do believe in no, the same God. No, Not me, my no you know what, As there are Jew. some Jewish this is on, on YouTube, he's God. telling them this. But if you ask a regular Jew, he will say no, because their God to them is, 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 is their father. He, Allah is the father, God is the father of the Jewish people. Islam says Allah is father to no one. Bani Israel, Bani Allah is father to no one. We to each of you. I have made different legislation and law. We don't eat pork. Maybe you can eat pork. It's just different. Sometimes we don't know why. It's just different legislation and law. Why you eat camel? We don't. It's not mentioned in the Quran. What? It's not mentioned in the Quran that we should eat camel. This is a different no. subject. You, it says in the Quran, once you eat camel, you have to do your wadu again because it's cancer. Different subject Why? Now. Because it's 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 it's, it's dirty. Camel is for something to do with it's Arab. Arab can live with camel. It uh, says that the Europe you, you, you lose your wadu if you if you do eat camel. Culture. Uh, so culture is so Allah Allah brought culture in Quran rather than religion. Yeah, right. No, right. Yeah. the word sharaf in Quran in in Arabic sharaf means honor. Yeah. It's not mentioned in the Quran completely, even though this word is the most important word for the Arab nation. What, what, you know, what does it mean? Honor, honor. honor. Like someone done. Uh, oh, honor, uh, honor, 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 honor. It's not mentioned in the Quran because this book is for all human mankind. God basically telling us if you want to be a follower of Jesus or you okay, want to enter okay. into the great ministry of Ishmael, uh, both of you. I have, I have a question for you. Tell me in the Quran where Muhammad was doing something for somebody else, not for himself. What did you do something for someone else, not for himself? Like sure. what? Anything. Before I go to this one, let me explain to you the word God, Allah, the one you don't think is like, yeah? Can you find me throughout the whole language of the world, throughout the whole language and history, if you find me a, a name that if you remove every letter of this name, you still have the same name. It's only the name Allah, Ilahi, the one Jesus said. Allah in Arabic means a L L H made from four letters. Yeah? A L L H. That's a La. 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 That's an English. Al. Al means the. In Arabic, it's got four letters. You see, it's like. A L L H. Where's the second one? But Al means the. The. The God. In Arabic, does And it's just the the name of their God is the God. It's like you saying my girlfriend's name is my girlfriend. The name of our God. Okay, you tell me why does it why in the Quran there is words mentioned like Yasin? Yasin is seen in the Mesopotamian uh guard, a moon guard, right? But why is it seen mentioned as is there a correlation? You tell me. Is there a correlation with La La being the moon guard? La is a is a Egyptian word. The God, the God. They used to worship the moon. La was the moon. We no, say no, la. Allah. No, no, la is the moon in, in Egyptian uh, language. I explain to you something about the word of the, the name of God. Any name of God doesn't have the letter H. Yeah. Yeah. He cannot be any name. Listen. Yeah. Any name for God doesn't have the word H. You cannot really say. He's talking uh, about Yeshua. Huh? A name for God. Like, uh, no. When we say uh, Jehovah. Ending with H, yeah? Because no. the letter H always is for divinity because you are yeah. seeking God. Jehovah. Yeah. Allah ending with, with the word H. Yahweh. When and all of us in Arabic yeah. we say Ya Allah, we seek him. Ya Allah. Divinity, do you understand? Yeah. Now we also say Yeshua ending with H. Yeah. And you are seeking with the word of God, with the word of the Lord. So why did the Quran now, change the name God, of Jesus? God, God is in English. Listen, but, but Semitic language, Arabic and Hebrew, will always have the same name. Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh, 
Allah Yeshua, Yeshua. Yeshua is the word of the Lord. I can accept it. But, you but, are seeking. But listen, that's a name. With the that's H. a name. That's for me. That means God saves, right? Yeah. The Savior of God is called Yeshua, right? That's his an Arabic yes. Bible is called Yeshua. In in our language, Yesu. Yesu Masar Masi. So Yeshua in Quran it says Isa. Yeshua has a meaning, meaning the Again I explain to Again you. the, the yes, Quran so makes a, give him a name that has no, no, no meaning. No, no, no. Yes, so you know what I mean? Yes, so in the name in the Hebrew language. Yes, well, I told you A become E. Go home and do your homework. Isa we say A in Hebrew language become E. e Yeshua. Isa so, an Arabic name. So, the so, name of Arabic in Isa is Isa. His name is Yeshua in Hebrew. No Arabic, Semitic language. Arabic and Hebrew the first, right? And, or, and also then, Semitic, Arabic Semitic language. Go check it out. Arabic came later or was it there as well? Arabic come after the Great Nation. Uh, on, uh, on the Great Nation of Islam. On, at Kidar tribe, where the mess of the Bible. Kidar tribe, this is where the Arabs started. The son of Ishmael. Okay. So what is your question again? Arabic language came way later. Well, it is a development. It, 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 it wasn't there at the time of the Sumerian. It's come at the same time like the Hebrew, the same time. No, 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 no. That, why would we call the Jewish people our cousin? Because Abraham had two sons, Ishmael, Isaac. It developed. Isaac ended okay. with Jesus. Jesus with you know the how Bible. late? I know Ismail what you're saying. Ismail ended with Muhammad with listen, the Quran. Listen. We are separate. We don't like Israel because Ismail being kicked out of the Bible frame. Sarah told him, take him He's in the Bible. Away, He's in the Bible. And God created He's in the Bible. a new Sharia. You know Ismail separate. because of the That's Bible. We have two books. There would be no Ismail if there wasn't in the Bible. Try to make a sense for you. No, no. Why we are against each other slightly, but we believe in the same God? It's because Ismail is not Bible. Find me Ismail's stories in the Bible. You can't find it. Yeah, of course you can find it. Where do you get Ismail's story? At the beginning, story? only at the beginning. No, even even in the middle, you don't know. All the Ishmael story is in the Bible. Who Isaac saved came? Joseph from the from the well? The Ismaili. They didn't save now him. Now we are come here. They to bought save. him. His they, his brothers. They sold it to the Ismailis, and they bought him as a slave. And then what did they do with him? What did they do with him? They took him and sold him. Did they sell him? Yeah, he was about to die when he was in the well. Ismaili, they saved him. They anyway, this no, is God's no, plan. They didn't take it. Anyway, this is God's plan. It's a God plan. I don't but know what he's making If you want to up, know man. about the great nation of Ishmael, you need to go to Genesis. You will see everything. Who is Ishmael and who is the great nation of Ishmael? God said to to Abraham, also because Ishmael is your son, I uh, will make okay, from him okay. a great nation. Okay, in the Bible, Do you know that? In the Bible, you know Ishmael mocked Isaac. You know yeah. That, yeah. Right. Do you know that my Ishmael is blessed already by God? No, he, he's he's blessed, but that he God cannot, said, but my Ishmael. covenant will be with the Isaac. Isaac. That's all. If you say no. Huh? The covenant with Isaac. That yeah. means he Isaac. has no spiritual blessing. He only has physical blessing. He will have a lot of children. He will be a nation. All right. Now but God he, said, he, he I will, will make from Ishmael wait a great nation. A great nation. Yes. Now, yes. Does the great nation of Ishmael will go to hell? No. Yes. No. You know Shall why? I go on Genesis and show you. Should I show you? What God said about I will show you in the Old Testament. How can he say great nations are going to go to All the time the Ishmaelites were attacking them. the Jews. They were in the Old Testament, all of My them friend, were attacking the Jews. We are two Jews. billion, you are two billion, Christian and two Muslim, two billion. <laughs> they equal nation of Ismail, nation of Isaac. That's how you see it. No. Both no. are powerful. Both claiming for one God. But we have a problem because of Ismail and Isaac. They have problems because of both. All right. All he's right. just confused, but I know. <laughs> it's okay. okay. Yeah, yes. he, he lives in his own world. Yes, that's what I'm saying. He lives in his own world. Oh, Anyway, anyway, I love you, boy. It's very listen, peaceful. Listen, listen. It's very peaceful. Anyway, boy. anyway, He's a, very yeah. peaceful, you boy. are still on a di on, 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 on the right way. You are from the people of the Quran. We never say Jesus is not right. <laughs> You're a mushrik. No. Okay, that's what you are. No. You're a mushrik. Can, you can so be I a Christian. You can so be a follower of Jesus. But be a unitarian. No, Quran. So I left Islam. I became a kufar. After being a no, kufar, say no. I have never said you are a kufar. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying. So I left. So I was a Muslim. Then I, then I left Islam. I became a kufar. After being kufar, I became a nasara. Yeah. Became? Became nasara. 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 Yeah. Christian. Nasara. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you became an atheist and then became a Christian. Yeah. So, okay. so, That's so right. the thing is. Um, I'm gonna show you something very beautiful. No, but the Quran For says. For both sides. For both sides. Yeah. I, I let's let's watch it. Oh, he's gonna show you this. Allah, the one you don't like. Uh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you. On, on the, the other side is is. Yeah. Is Muhammad on the other side? No, yeah. it's, no? Jesus. <laughs> it's Jesus. It's Jesus. So Allah and Asa, Jesus are the same. Uh, Allah. And this is and God. This is you, say, you know how it's uh, look, look, uh, written yeah. in Arabic? Allah. Yeah, look. Allah. L with the H. Yeah, the only yeah, way to write yeah. Allah is Allah. H L is closed. 
for this way, and you know that. Uh, yeah. And now I'm going to show you also Yeshua, because he's the word of the Lord. <laughs> I'll make it more confused. <laughs> Uh, he's just, I don't know, this is I, I'll definitely pray for you, I'll, I'll definitely pray for you. I, this, at least is peaceful. No, that's the only but, thing about him. He, but the thing is, he's still deceiving himself. Yeah. That's the problem. That's why I'm going to pray for you. Yeah. That's what I'm don't gonna, deceive no, no, yourself. I can't find it. It is. Oh. Yeah. That's Jesus, Yeshua. That's Yeshua. You can write your yeah, So we have God, the word of the Lord here. And, you have and uh, so God is the right. same. Yeah. One hand, okay. one God, okay. Allah and Jesus but, is the same. But, but you know what the best? The right hand of God. Yeshua in Hebrew. Okay. Hebrew or Arabic? Semitic. Okay, okay. Can, I, can I tell you something? One, one more thing? Yeah. Uh, the, the, the law is written in our hearts, by the way. It's written in the Bible. Yeah. Follow. Your, follow. Yeah. But the thing. God will bless you, honestly, because you have, you've, already, you've already denounced a lot of things in, in, from Islam, basically. And you have a very peaceful interpretation. I understand that you're like Imam. You know you're why? Like, you know like, why? You're like Imam. Uh, Imam peace. Peace. Uh, oh, the, Imran. 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 No, no, no. You know uh, the <laughs> peace, the Imam of peace from Australia. Oh no, I don't know. Uh, there's a guy who's Imam of peace. Oh, okay. You like him? You just want to interpret the whole thing. It's brilliant. Ah. If people are like That's me, the only way. This is the only truth. Otherwise, I will. I'm like you. I'm human like you. If this is not the truth, I will leave. No, you should leave Islam. But Imran Hussein is a big scholar of, of Islam. He's the he one who confirmed who, that Jesus he was there. He was on the cross. You know that. But in, in his way in the Quran. And he said he died on the cross, but he, his soul didn't die. No human soul dies. How does that make any sense? That's but it, it makes sense to Now, let's go to the top, top argument between Islam and Christianity. Okay. Okay? Okay. If Jesus is God, no. or as Muslims, they say he is the word of God. Should we also take a break for a coffee? No, no, it's the last thing that I'm gonna go. Okay. Do you believe, both of you, God is a spirit? Yes. Amen. So you know what God made from? I try you in God. I will try you in God. So God is a spirit. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And yeah. Jesus is a spirit also from God. Yes, you, you can say that if you want God to say is that. Brother. But uh, Jesus. Say, say, brother. No, Jesus is a spirit from God. Now, the relation, Jesus. Can you tell me the relation between the spirit, God, and the spirit Jesus. Spirit of God, the spirit of Jesus. Can we say the spirit is the spirit is like uh, something material? No. No. So when the spirit of God and the spirit of Jesus, can we say the spirit is the son of God? Can you give me the right spelling? That's what the God will confirm in the Quran. The, when you say is that he is uh, the son of God in a flesh is, is wrong. Yes. I can, I can, can you give me the, tell me the relationship between the spirit God and the spirit mm -hmm. Spirit Jesus, okay. but the right way, the right uh, word, can you give me? Okay. Tell me. In, in Quran, you say Ruh Allah. No, in Quran, the Spirit of God is not God. Okay. We, God is something above the Spirit. Okay, okay. what is the Spirit of God? What is the just, Spirit of God? The Spirit from Him is not in Him. Okay. In Him, okay. Yeah. Right. So, our God, basically, the Triune God, God like the same, yeah. Triune God, one God, three essences. God the Father. One essence, three persons. Three persons. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. One God. One Sorry, essence, bye, bye, three bye. persons. Yeah. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But Trinity. Trinity. Right? God <coughs> created heaven and the earth. And his spirit was hovering over the waters. And his word created the world. Yeah. And his I word remember, became I'll flesh. I a very good answer for this. What? God in the Quran, when he talked, he said, We. We have created heaven and earth. But that's plurality of respect when you say that. Right? No, 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 it's Do not. You? Again, no. the wrong tafsir. When he said we, that's what does mean, it mean God and the word of the Lord, maybe Jesus and the angel, they have done the same. When he say we, it means God is uh, is a rab and Jesus is a rabbi. So maybe the word of the Lord is doing so he's, the word. He's saying it's this. the same as in the Quran, but you don't know because you don't speak Arabic. That's the that's it, because because the thing is why why do we why did we need, need Islam in Pakistan in the first place? Because we Pakistan. don't even speak Arabic. Why do we need to like my question ultimately becomes then why do we need to speak Arabic in order for me to pray to Allah? Why? Because they need to learn Arabic. Now yeah, but is your, oh, is that's, your, that's your no, imposition no, on Jesus me. Jesus, you speak a Jew, a Jew language too. Now, can you show me down before we forgot? This is very important. Rabbi, what? the Rabbi that they have you. taken the Messiah instead of God. This is, uh, it took me nearly six months to understand this verse. But now I, I understand. It's very beautiful about Jesus. Can you say in English? Okay. They have taken their scholar 
and monks. Uh -huh. And monks? Monk. Monk. Monks. Lord and... beside Allah. And also the Messiah, the Son of Mary. So that means Allah and, and Messiah they were are not supposed commanded, to be worship. And they were not commanded to, 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 uh, to worship except one God. Yeah? Yeah. That is a man who uh, would call it before pushed that man. Yeah, yeah, last yeah. Week. It's okay. Don't worry about that right now. Okay, they let's have go taken away. their. <coughs> it's okay. They have taken their rabbi, their scholars, mm. and the monks as and Lord. the monks as lords besides Allah, besides and Allah. Jesus, and, and, Allah. and, Allah. and, Allah. and the Messiah, and the Messiah, yeah, and, the Messiah. and Jesus. And the Messiah. Yeah. So, so, what does that so mean? That means that means the uh, Messiah and God. Is the Lord too. Ah, that's according to Quran. The Quran is confirmed. You are just wrong, my friend. I am so glad you think that way. But God, uh, they only ask him to worship God. Yeah, but the, but the, but the thing is, I'm so glad you think that way that God and Messiah are equal. Is the word. Well, that's no. exactly what they're not means. equal. No, that God, Messiah, Messiah is the word of the Lord, the one who do the work, who do the jobs. Now listen. <laughs> okay, so you, you know what? Okay, what Muhammad yeah. will execute just for you, for you, to execute Wait, you just for saying that, basically. Okay. The Quran says. Even in Pakistan, they'll, they'll execute you for saying that. I speak. Uh, they cannot, my friend. Yeah, because you I, don't need to go. No, because it's my language, Arabic. I can confuse all of them. They cannot confuse. See, me. there we go. So why do we need? Why do we need? Uh, uh, what do you call Islam in Pakistan? Why? We don't even speak the language. Oh, because they come conquer. Exactly. They come to conquer. Allah said, "Go and conquer." Uh, and in the name of the cross, how many countries been invaded in the whole, in the whole world? None. None. In the name none, of the cross. None. None. Let me tell you why. Uh, yeah, but we. Does do. that represent Jesus? Yeah. No. The yeah, same. They don't yeah, represent but, Islam. But, these people they don't represent them who conquered the whole the rest of the world. Okay. They are not representing Islam. No, Muhammad the conquered Quran, the land. Can you find me an ayah in the Quran where God said, the land Lord, of... conquer the world, go and invade? Yes, Never say yes Muhammad did. Did Muhammad conquer the Jews? That's when Muhammad done something against the Quran. That's they did not game. conquer the Jews. Or Medina. Did he not conquer? Did he not, Muhammad not conquer the Jews? Muhammad didn't conquer. Khaybar, 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 Khaybar. Hadith and history. There's uh, no compare between the word of the God and hadith and history and the rest of the world. Uh, Can you move the cameras over this way, please? They're facing the wrong way. Friend. We, go, we say in Islam, Change in the Quran, look this way, obey friend. God this way. Yeah, and obey the messenger, which is Muhammad. Thank yeah, you. Obey God that's and the messenger. It. Now, it. God said in the Quran also, obey God and the son of Mary. And for me, that's what's confusing. Obey God to obey God and the messenger. And for Jesus, Son of Mary said, Obey God and the Son of Mary. Shall I give you the answer? Obey God, he said, and obey the messenger, which means relate to the message, which means the Quran. So only obey the messenger, the message. If he said, Obey God and obey the Prophet Muhammad, then we have to obey him on anything he done. But he never said, Obey God and the Prophet. He never said, Obey God and Muhammad. Because if he said, Obey God and obey Muhammad, we should obey him when at the age of 20. Make sense? Right. We said God, obey God and the mm. Son of Mary because he's sinless. We can obey him from the day he's born. <laughs> That's the difference between the, the, the word of the Lord Jesus yeah. to obey him than uh, and obeying all, also the messenger of God, Muhammad, or the messenger of God, <laughs> Jesus, or Jew, uh, Musa. Musa, or right. the message. Because Musa made a mistake. God, uh, Musa come up to the mountain and God told him, you commit, you, he made a small mistake and took his soul. Everyone doing a mistake. That's a Quranic story. It's not a biblical story. Uh, no, this is from the Bible. I read the Bible. How did Musa, God take Musa's soul? He took it from the mountain because he committed a sin. Which he sin? made a mistake. Oh, sin. Every single Which sin? human will make sins as long as you have this okay, body. That's, that's this body wrong. That's wrong. Sin, what you're sinner. saying about but from Jesus, he got a pure body, Amen. sinless. <laughs> all right, fine. This is all you are, but the thing is this. What you're saying mm -hmm. is completely against Islam. Now you have your own interpretation you from this your Quran. Quran. I give you 17 chapter. I know them in the Quran. God always said, "Follow what has revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam." To the Prophet, Ma what has been revealed? But don't follow Muhammad. Follow the Muhammad. Muhammad teaching is a prophet. The same like uh, yeah. Moses, yeah. King Solomon, David. That's his teaching. That's a prophet. Prophet uh, yes. Uh -huh. Now Muhammad become a messenger of God. Because he got the Quran. It's the word of the Lord. All right. Jesus is a messenger, is the word of the Lord, but the word of the Lord is in him. 
Uh, let me let me ask you something. I asked you this question. Listen, I asked him this question before, right? I'm so asking the question again. Right. I'm, I'm asking it properly again. You don't have to leave Islam. You can still in, in Islam believe in the Quran. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah. And Jesus he wants you is to the main. The dawa, dawa, dawa. Uh, no, okay, this is your dawa. Okay. I I have already accepted Lord Jesus Christ as my savior. No, no. What? That's ask him. Tell me in Quran where Muhammad did something good for somebody else, not for himself. Show me in the Quran. Oh my God, that is a very strong question. Do you Next have chapter. Let's have a small break anyway now because oh. so many, so many questions. You always run away from this question. <laughs> Again, he's running away. No, he doesn't no, want right. to answer no, that no, question. No, no, no. It's okay. It's right. The main issues between Christianity and Islam Wait, is... There is nothing good about Muhammad in the Quran. That's the problem. Nothing. Nothing. Good about nothing. That's why we are there. Uh, Muhammad, he got two, million, two billion followers. The same you know who has a billion same, followers? Islam. You know, India has barely two billion people. Yeah, but there's Hindus. The, religion, the religion never spread. Everybody okay. are in the same no, 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 that's okay. But they there doesn't breathing, mean breathing, anything. And the same religion, the, the same the, your, your, your religion <coughs> is only in the Middle East. Now you're coming over here. We are in Indonesia, in Africa. The same like Christianity is spread everywhere. The same like Christianity. We are the great nation of Ishmael. And you are the great nation. Uh, the, you the are the of the covenant. people of the sin. Ishmael was a son of sin. Of we, are, we are part of the covenant, but are you? Yes, of course. Which covenant was with Ishmael? Was there a covenant with Ishmael? Yes. No, there was. He wasn't. entered the covenant with, with, with his father when they circ uh, Abraham circumcised him. Ishmael. Yeah. <coughs> so he uh, he became the, the he's the son of. Abraham, so because of circumcision? No, of course not. No, no, because of circumcision, you say you become the part of. So that's. Let's have a small break, then I will tell right. you Amen. Genesis, right. what said about Ishmael. Right. We're, we're going to stop filming now. Okay.